Good morning, Greater Lake Trobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Zoe Favada alongside Alexis Knoll. Coming up in today's show, a nationally recognized speed painter will be here during Lunch and Learn. School board rep applications are available. And reporter Sophia Bulova showcases a multi talented student in today's student spotlight. All this and more on your WCAT TV news. Nationally recognized speed painter and Pittsburgh native Cody Sable will be here today. There will be two chances to catch his performances. The first performance will take place during Lunch and Learn from 11 to 11.45 in the auditorium. The second performance will take place during ninth grade Lunch and Learn from 12.05 to 12.50 in the auditorium. Come check out his high energy, high speed painting live. This Saturday, the Greater Lake Trobe Winter Guard will be hosting a competition through the Tournament of the Band Circuit. There will be 43 teams competing here at the high school, including color guards, drum lines, dance teams, and majorettes. Between the performers and spectators, we are expecting around 2,000 people. It is sure to be an exciting event. All students and staff are encouraged to attend. The show begins at 2 p.m. with the drum lines and will run until around 9 p.m. Our Winter Guard will end the show with their performance around 8.45 p.m. Tickets are $10 and can be paid in cash at the door. Any student in need of volunteer hours who is available this Saturday is welcome to contact Mr. Chekai. There are many different ways to help out. Stop down to the band room at any time to sign up. Best of luck to the Winter Guard team. All students who took an art class this year are reminded that our annual st student senior and junior high art show is next week. Please bring in one of your proudest pieces to showcase in the exhibit. Drop it off in one of the art rooms and fill out a label. The senior and junior high art show will be on display in the CSE from Tuesday the 25th through Thursday the 27th. There will be an evening reception on Wednesday the 26th from 5 to 7 p.m. for family and friends. A link to the Student Council School Board Representative application has been sent out to all sophomore and junior student email addresses. Two school board reps will be selected to represent the Greater La Trobe Senior High School student body to the Board of Education for the 2023-2024 school year. Reps will be required to attend school, two school board meetings each month and will be full members of the Student Council. The digital application must be submitted by April 27th at 2.55 p.m. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Lily Haverly for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Friday, April 21st, and here is your three-day forecast. Today is expected to be sunny with a high of 82 and a low of 57. Tomorrow we can expect it to rain with a high of 66 and a low of 38. And finally, this Sunday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 51 and a low of 31. That's all for your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Lily. Are you interested in working for the Greater Lake Trobe School District this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a 10-week long program, but hours are flexible if you already have previous plans. All applicants must have working papers and anyone 18 years of age or older must have clearances. Work includes general cleaning, moving furniture, light maintenance, and groundskeeping. The pay rate is $10.50 per hour. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Yetter for an application form and return it to the Facilities, Operations, and Planning Department at the Administration Office or email your information to amy.sosos at glsd.us by Wednesday, May 3rd to be approved at the May 17th School Board meeting. The 2023 Leadership Westmoreland Youth Academy is a five-day leadership development program offered June 19th through the 23rd. It's designed to introduce students to leadership concepts that provide interaction with local business, government, and community leaders. Participants should be sophomores, juniors, and seniors in September with a GPA of at least 2.5. To apply, students must complete the application and submit the requested documents before April 28th. Please email Ms. Yetter for a link to the application. If you are a senior who is planning to major in education, you are eligible to apply for the GLEA scholarship. Look for application information on the Guidance Office Scholarship site. 
Please see Mrs. Kubis if you have any questions, and be sure to turn in your application form to her in room H108 by the end of the day, Wednesday, April 26. In addition, many more scholarships are coming to the guidance office at this time. Please check the district scholarship page regularly. The Westmoreland County Coaches Association raises funds for the county championships events in order to provide scholarships to athletes from Westmoreland County. The WCCA expects to award seven to nine scholarships ranging in value from $500 up to $2,000. See Mr. Simpson for information and for an application. The deadline for submission is May 1st. We go to Jacob Kramer for the Wildcats Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today there is a varsity track invitational at 11 a.m. at Butler High School. Then there is a varsity boys tennis match at GCC at 3.30 p.m. Next, both the varsity baseball and softball teams have away games at Gateway at 7 p.m. Finally, the girls lacrosse team has an away game at Blackhawk High School at 7.30 p.m. In national sports news and the MLB, there are 15 games. Headlining the night is the Cincinnati Reds in Pittsburgh against the Pirates at 5.35 p.m. In the NBA, there are three games, and headlining the night is the 76ers in Brooklyn against the Nets at 12 p.m. Finally, in the NHL, there are four games. Headlining the night is the Edmonton Oilers in L.A. versus the Kings at 9 p.m. That's all for sports news. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Jacob. Here at Lake Trobe, there are many highly skilled students involved in the music department. Here's reporter Sophia Bulova with today's Student Spotlight. Maddie Sloan is a multi-talented musician who plays a variety of instruments and is a member of several music groups. I'm a part of concert band and next year I will be a part of wind ensemble. I did Faye West at Jeanette High School and I'm in rock ensemble and musical. In order to reach the point where she is now, Maddie has had to overcome challenges. The biggest challenges while learning, while learning to play my instruments were definitely uh, for guitar, it would be chord shapes. Uh, with my fingers and playing the flute would be definitely rhythms uh, but the more I went on to grow as a musician the more the better I got at it. Maddie overcame these challenges and achieved some impressive outcomes. My biggest musical achievements would be being the only person in concert band to be able to attend Faye West uh, and another one was being uh, cast as a core dancer in Pippin. Maddie's passion for music has been influenced by a variety of people in her life. Someone that inspires me is my elementary band teacher, Mr. Manzietti. Uh, he was the one who told me to start playing the flute, and if I hadn't had listened to him, I wouldn't be here. Another person is my dad also inspired me a lot because he was a drummer, and I always wanted to be just as good as him. In the future, Maddie wants to attend more band festivals and be able to play more instruments. She would also like to perfect playing the piano. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here is Taryn Yetzi with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Late Trobe? Today is Friday, April 21st. And cooking up in the main line, we have a delicious buffalo chicken dip with crunchy carrot sticks. The sandwich options are hamburger, cheeseburger, and chicken patty. The pizza options are homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza. The grab and go bar has fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is Fiesta Taco. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Seniors are asked to check their emails and complete the Student Council and High Post Senior Edition survey by Wednesday, April 26th. We will be back after this message. Unity Township's third annual spring cleanup will be held on Saturday, April 29th. There will be roll-off dumpsters in neighborhoods throughout the township. Once you see the dumpsters in your neighborhood, you can begin using them. There will also be several dumpsters available for use at the township office parking lot at 154 Beatty County Road. These dumpsters are for normal household trash that you would throw out with your garbage hauler. There are several items that are not permitted in the dumpsters. These items must be taken to Westmoreland Queenlands Recycling Center, located at 355 Pleasant Unity Mutual Road. These items include tires, Freon appliances, scrap metal, glass bottles, electronics, used motor oil, lead acid batteries, polystyrene, paper, cardboard, and fluorescent light bulbs. If you have any questions, please call Greg Fumi at 724-539-2546 extension 4026. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats!